Uh, what is up, YouTube? Back for another round here. We have a high level solo queue. This is a Diamond 1 game. And it should be a very interesting game. We have a Vladimir. The Dragon Descent. So this is on the North American server. And he's going to be our top laner. Going to standard Flash TP. Now, I love Vla Vladimir, personally. And I put a lot of games into him. So I do like to watch Vladimir games. Especially at the high levels. Looks like his laner is a Kale. So Kale versus Vladimir is not a terribly tough tough matchup for Vladimir um, since Vladimir is a ranged opponent so unlike other top lane champions who are usually melee Kale is not up Kale isn't able to poke out Vlad quite as easy but you know if you do make a mistake as Vladimir and you get in a position where your cooldowns where your abilities are on cooldown you can get chased all the way back to your tower so should be a fun game Vladimir starting with the Doran shield so Obviously showing respect to Kale. Now, Kale going full damage with the Doran's ring. And Sajani jungle. So they have a Sajani and a Alistar. So a lot of peel for the blue team. And whenever you have a Vladimir, you really need the peel because he doesn't offer any CC by himself. So you have to have a team that has CC in other ways. And blue team certainly has that. Jin for the bot lane, TF for the mid. Global ultimate by TF, always good. Ari though, very strong laner. And a Gragas, so definitely an AP heavy team for the red side. Could be a bit of a problem if we start seeing Banshee's Veils and Visages coming out, but be that as it may. Gragas starting W to do the quick clear there. Good leash by Kale. Vlad giving a leash to the Sajani as she started Grump. So pretty standard starts here. Greg is doing red, Sajani doing blue. Greg is kind of needing that mana early on, but should have enough with enough damage and sustain from his W to get to blue without too much problems here. Um, Jin, the lack of ability on the Jin does hurt him quite a bit against these Ezreal Lucid matchups we see a lot. So Jin, while a very powerful champion, does need to not be killed early. Otherwise, he just is kind of useless. Alistar, you see a lot of Alistars with the Jins because of the peel they provide. Uh, I personally like to see like a Lulu or something like that. But... Good combo there by Alistar. If you're a high level player, you should pretty much always land that. Good night going on onto Janna, forcing the heal from Ezreal. A very quick skirmish. You saw the follow up from the Jin just so quickly there onto Janna, and that's really what you see at the high level plays. As opposed to the early, you know, the bronze, silver elos, is just the, how quickly the team can respond. Now, one thing about Vladimir you want to try to do against your opponent is use your auto attacks to land to farm as much as you can, and use your Q on the enemy opponent just just to start poking them down. The less you have to use your Q on a minion, the more damage you can deal to your lane opponent. So. It really does come down to CSing well. Now Vlad's power spike obviously is not going to take off till about level 9 or so. So Vlad's going to be pretty slow early. Very easy matchup for Kale. And Gragas now doing the scuttle crab. Cleared his jungle, did the scuttle crab. And very low on mana, but he does have blue, so. Poked a little bit by Kale there, not too much. TF dodging the orb now, taking doing quite a bit of damage onto this Ari, but the minions just keep attacking him and again no armor. Very vulnerable there. Nice dodge there with the knight and the auto attacks there. Uh, Force the flash though, it's the first one into Ari, so just not respecting those minions, man. You gotta do that. I'll start knocking back this Gragas. We're trying to get a kill onto Jan. Not gonna happen. Flash from the Gragas will pick up Jin. And another flash means Alistar is gonna barely get away. That was a tough call there for the Jin though. He should have probably paid attention a little bit better. They had no wards, so Gragas, really easy kill there. They're already extended too, so. You know, if a Janna slows you and you're caught out like that, you're in big trouble. A little low tap by Sajani. Not going to be able to do much with that gank. Ward's going to spot her, so she can't really do anything. First blood on to the Ari. Or on 
Ari gets first blood, so that's going to be a good back for her when she finally gets back. Good combo onto the Alistar, followed up with a Jin, but Janna just limping away there. With no HP and no mana. That's definitely a back from her. Ezreal 28 CS against Jin is 31, so despite dying early, and you see that a lot, Jin will die early. It does have good CS, so if you can, ha if you have good enough CS, you can negate a lot of the early game. You know, even if you do die, if you keep your CS where it should be, then you can make up for a lot of those early game deaths and not just get totally shot out of the game. I had an ADC a couple games ago at the lower elo where he pretty much, uh, he had 8 kills and like 6 deaths, which was pretty good, but it was 35 minutes of the game and he had 120 CS. So he was totally useless and we lost the game, it was, just, it was terrible. So always, always work on that CS. I can't stress how important it is, and if you're trying to boost your own elo, definitely work on that CS. Diff now level 5, taking a lot of damage from the Ari. Look at Dragus there, good early game pressure. Look at that, yeah, it's just a dead TF, you can't do anything. This flash is already down. Vlad TP, but just not enough to save him. And you saw that the moment Ari hit level 6, they coordinated that with the Gragas, and that was just a dead CF. Being caught out in the middle of the lane against the Ari, who hits level 6, is just so bad. And good players like that will capitalize on their ultimates, so if they hit level 6 before you, they're going to try to go all in on you, and you just have to be aware of that. That's something that TF looks like he didn't pay attention to, and just died. So Gragas should hit level 6 off the camp here. Nice charm by the R there, right in the tip, taking a lot of damage from the orb. Now Vlad, he can take the poke because he's manaless and he gets so much heal from his Q. So the goal for Vlad should just be to not die. And then once he hits like level 9, he'll be able to just pretty much outpoke the Kale. So he just can't get take too much damage and get caught out by the Kale. She is running um, TP though, so there's no ignite to shut down the healing in the skirmishes. This should be an interesting game here. There's no real clear leader here. I think Gragas definitely has a slight lead. Good ultimate on the TF there. Stunning her and then falling with a gen, forcing the flash, but Janna will get away. Now counter engaged by the, t the Ezreal. Gets damage onto the Twisted Fate there. Gragas is obviously doing his red, he can't help. And TF, fortunately ulted, it's gonna have to leave. A little bit sad. So Johnny looks like she's holding down mid, as TF is gonna come back to lane. Arya with no mana, so she's gonna have to back pretty soon. Let's check out, take a look at the CS here. 55 against Kale's 67, so good CS on, onto Kale. She's hiding in the bush there, trying to go all in on this Vlad. But he does have pool, so he should be fine. Uh, his Q is back up, so a little bit of retaliation damage here. Knowing that the Kale's E is down, I means she can't hit. You. She can't. Doesn't have any range, so a lot of people forget that Kale is actually a melee champion, despite her E ability. Now Jin in a bit of a tough spot here. The combo though, onto Janna. The ultimate is forcing him to back. Now, if you guys remember, the Janna 6.6 .6 patch, which this is running on, means that Janna's uh, ultimate got nerfed a little bit. Longer cooldowns and the disable duration on her ultimate is lowered to from 0.75 to 0.5. Gragas, had, no, Gragas is all ready for a combo, and I think the blue team might have spotted him. Now, maybe not, though. The Jen keeps pushing. If he gets caught in this combo, he is 100% going to die. But nope, they spotted him. And chasing him now. Johnny, there comes the Jin ultimate. But missing a lot of his shots here. Forced to walk away. Ari roaming down. Getting some good damage into Alistar. Now, if she lands a charm on Jen, he's going to be in a world of hurt. But no. Janna too low to really do anything here. And smart call, I think, by the blue team backing here.
blue going over to the Ari. Gonna go back to land. Doesn't want to lose the tower to Twisted Fate. It's never. It's almost never worth losing your tower to have your mid lane roam like that. So you always need to keep those waves pushed as much as you can. You have Jen now 79 CS to 74 on for Ezreal. So very very close. Kale, just the damage is really, really going down on the Vlad. And her CS is quite good. Vlad's starting to catch up though, 73 against 81. And again, this is at 10 minutes, so the 10 minute mark, um, generally pretty high. I mean, obviously these guys are high level players. So you see, you obviously see a high CS for Ari. High CS for the ADC. Um, Vlad probably had the toughest time here. Managed to get 76 CS against 87, so about only 10 behind. That's like a wave and a half of farming. And with the pool, he's going to be very hard to actually tower dive. And here comes Ari though. She's landed to charm with Vlad, this could be bad. Supposed to fate ultimate, revealing the Ari, probably forcing the flash here as the ult will slow her down. The Johnny doing a lot of damage now. TF ult ulted to try to stop the Kale. And she's going to be able to get away with half HP. So, really, if the focus had gone onto Ari, she may have died. But. Unfortunately, just a little bit mixed there on who to focus. All right, interesting pick here. First pick is going to be the Abys Abyssal Scepter. So, knowing they have a Vladimir and they have a Sajani and a Twisted Fate, probably a smart pick here. Um, the rest of our team, especially, benefits from the t from the lowered matchup resist because you have the Gragas, the Kale. And the Ari, so probably that was a very good buy by the Ari to rush that item. Twisted Fate looks like he has the same idea. He's gonna go with the Abyssal. You only need one Abyssal on your team because the passive does not stack with other Abyssals. Now Ping's going down Ari, just trying to make a play here. She, if she gets a charm onto this loose this gen, it could be very bad. Alistar now with his ultimate is gonna be very hard to kill. And Kale forces to up her ultimate on herself to try to save her. Gragas coming in though. She's gonna head and pull. Gragas trying to get ahead of this Vladimir and ult him back into the team. Looks like he will die here. And sustain, keeping him alive. He's forcing the Kale to play back because he doesn't want to get a revenge kill. But that will be a dead Vladimir, unfortunately. Four kills now for the red team, zero kills for the blue team, so... Nice stun of the Ari there. Combo with the uh, with the Alistar, and that will be a dead Ari. Jen, nice follow-up. Forcing the heal onto Janna. Ezreal now, forced the back. This is three people now on the bot lane. And Johnny just chasing this Gragas out of the lane. He cannot fight her. This Johnny, just a little bit too much damage. But it's very close. And she obviously cannot do her blue until Gragas is gone. So TPing back now. Kale TPing to the ward. And it looks like she's gonna try to stop Sajani here doing the blue. I don't know if she'll be able to kill her though. Sajani is leaving, so I think she spotted the kill. And this is very bad. This, it looks like it will go over to TF, but we'll fight there. All right, taking a lot of damage. They're getting comboed by the TF and the Sajani. It's getting super low. She's gonna have the ult herself, canceling out the combo there. Wow, double kill going over to Kale before she finally goes down. It's very bad for the blue team. And that was that was just a mess up all around because Ari focusing on the blue instead of the. Instead of dealing damage to the Kale, that would have made all the difference there. She ulted the Kale, but she didn't change her focus from the blue to the to actually killing Kale. So that was a bit of a mess, a mistake there. I think just not respecting how much damage the Kale can put out and killing the TF and killing the Sajani. So when you have, when you have a pest like that into your jungle, you just have to deal with them very quickly. I think they're just not showing the respect there. 
Kill does hurt. She does a lot of damage, especially a full damage kill like that. Nasher's Tooth, and looks like... Also building her Cursed Bow, so maybe a Wit's End coming out, not sure. But pretty much full auto attack Kale, very nasty. Johnny a little bit behind, trying to make a play. She has a lot of CC, she has a lot of playmaking potential. So she's just trying to make something happen here. Janna with Disengage is so, so strong. And Dragon is up. Gragas knows it, so Johnny knows it. And they kind of position themselves to do Dragon. Now, a lot of CC going down onto their team. Not able to make anything of it though. TF ulting try to shut down this Gragas here. They catch out the Ezreal, but they aren't able to kill him. Gragas pretty much defensible out there, forcing the blue team back. They really want to set up for this Dragon. Ari now roaming. Flash and stun onto this gen by Gragas. Good Q there, slowing him down. Gets very low, but he may get away here. And no, the W and the E coming off is going to be enough. Ari missing the charm on the TF, so he will definitely live. Ultimate from Kale going out, keeping him alive. That is a double kill for Ezreal now. And Blot Tower. Blot Tower is sure to fall. Vlad getting the top tower, maybe. But very, very big swing there for the red team. You saw the Ezreal Q going on to the the Jin followed up by the Gragas W was enough to finish them off. So they're gonna trade two towers here anyway for a potential tower top lane. If Vlad was in that fight, it probably would have went a lot differently. But again, some recalls now going on. Looks like Vladimir probably should get the top tower. Yeah, he definitely will with the minion wave. But that is not a good price to pay losing both your bot towers and a team fight. They have a 6k gold lead for the red side. And Vladimir won 1, 142 CS. So he caught up with Kale in CS. But Kale now 2 kills, 4 assists is very big. Whitson and Asher's Tooth being completed. So just so much damage. She needs the MR and she needs the damage, so that is a good buy for her. Gragas now doing Dragon. Pretty much soloing it. Looks like it won't be much of a contest. I think Blue does see it, but there isn't much they can do about it at this point. So they're not even going to bother. I'll start roaming though. They're going to try to catch this Kayla. I think they can do it too. I'll start to knock the Kayla back. But look at the damage onto the kill. They can't 1v1 her. They're going to have to have TF and Vlad come up and try to combo. Now, Wolf card going out to Kale. She's forced to ult, so Kale. She's doing so much damage. Ignite's going off. Auto attack's going off. Chain CC is enough to kill her, but that almost took the entire team to kill that. Ari trying to get a revenge kill in some way, and she did manage to get it on the TF, but not getting picked up by the to Johnny in the process. Red team now. Good rotation to try to stop this. Knowing ults are down. Good combo onto. Alistar, a lot of CC though. Johnny able to finish off the <laughs> Janna before Gragas is picking up the, the Alistar, but that will be a good trade by the blue team. This is what the tickle, tickle swing the blue team needs. Good flash there, and the, the uh, Gragas will die. It looks like the Jen is going to be able to stop the Ezreal too, so they didn't really lose very much for that. And some good team fighting on the blue side is going to keep them alive for now. And it definitely gave him some tempo. Overall, good plays by Vladimir. Um, really good use of his pool and good use of his cues on the right targets. So, Blue Team just has so much CC to take advantage of those team fights with the Alistar and the Johnny. It's like Rift Herald being focused now. Blue team, uh, blue going over to TF, but Rift Herald will probably go down. This isn't a huge objective, so blue team will probably not. Yeah, they're not going to try to stop this here. Kale picking up the Rift Herald, which is fine. She's probably the best poker on the red team. Best pusher. Ezreal picking up the red buff. 
Gragas, I imagine, is going pretty much full tank. Yep. Got his vicious very early. Very important against a very heavy AP comp. Also note that Gragas gets a healing bonus from his passive, so... Visage is very good for that as well. Vladimir, in a very tough spot there, getting chunked to half. Force recall. Good ult combo by Alistar, but... Now, the ult hits multiple, multiple people, but... Kale keeping the Aria alive with six. Johnny in a very tough spot, it's going to die to Kale. Good ultimate by TF. Now that is double kill for Janna, ironically. Enough, picks up those kills. Jen not able to do the damage. Uh, was a little bit late for that team fight, so. Three people dying on the red, the blue team. And red team looks like they will get the inner mid tower. And that Kale just doing so, so much damage there with the slows. Just forcing everyone to back. Rift Herald like a miniature Baron, helping cope down this mid right here. So a lot of damage going down. Vladimir took so much damage there before the fight really started. So he wasn't able to be very useful. He did get a good Olaf, but unfortunately it's just not, not strong enough to stand there. Really good ultimate off to Johnny, now landing on the Arya and the, and the Janna. Disengaged by the Janna should help, but that was a beautiful ultimate. And unfortunately there, everyone's just a little bit too low to follow up. Nice Q by Ezreal, you gotta pay attention. Gragas there, trying to land a good ult to just put the TF out of position. But it just wasn't quite enough. Johnny, I think it was ironic, because she got away, but then she stopped and tried to recall, and then she died. So really silly to play there. She should have just walked back to her base. I'm not sure what she was thinking there, but uh, or at least move to the side to try to get out of the range of Ezreal. But anyhow, good Q by Ezreal. That is a very sad Sujani. The blue team managed to hold on to their Baron, so not altogether terrible. Now combo going on to the TF, and that would be a dead RA, So. When you're roaming and you're low and there's someone with a global ultimate, you'll always have to be aware of that. Now TF by no means is leading. He is minus four. But that was a good play by him. Um, he still presents that pressure of stunning someone and catching them out, which is always good. They say Kale, 226 CS against Vlad's 174. Jin has 200 CS at 22 minutes. So that is very, very good. Ezreal with 184 CS. So just the CS level on the ADCs are just so high. And this is only 23 minutes in the game. At the lower ELOs, I see this happening. It usually takes about 30, 35 minutes for the ADCs to get. 100, 200 CS. So to get it that to get that at 23 minutes is really really good. This is obviously a diamond one level match, so you kind of expect that. But. As you can see, landing phase is officially over. All teams are starting starting to group here. Jenning putting that. Now Jen is a lot like Caitlyn in the sense that he puts down traps, but he doesn't have the mobility that Caitlyn has, so he has to position himself very carefully. This will be an uncontested drag going over to the red side, and it'll be interesting to see their next move. I think they're going to shove down mid. If they can catch anyone out, that'll be really good. Good ultimate out to Gragas there, just smashing that Jin back. He has no way, no escape there, he's just gonna die. And that will be their pick. I think they can push down either do Baron or force down Inhibitor. And it looks like the Kale has enough DPS to just clear the waves, and they will get Inhibitor here. And af after which they can set up for Baron. So, if we're not careful, this will be two Inhibitors here. Going down. Good team though, really needs to fight. Really good combo by Alistar. Followed up by Johnny, but perfect ultimate by Janna, forcing everyone in the back. Ari will die here, but the rest of the team should get away. And Janna is going to get the tower. 
A lot of damage going down. Vladimir forced to play a force back, but do it ultimate. Followed by some good CC. That means that Kale will go down. Uh, Gragas though, finishing off the Vladimir. Now Jen though, see the look at the positioning by the Jen, all the way to the very back, finishing off the Gragas. But fortunately Ezreal is a little bit too mobile there, and that'll be a quadra going down to Ezreal, so. By both ADCs, excellent positioning, and the red team won out over that. Janna keeping the AD carry alive. And there is a surrender vote going off. For the blue team, obviously realizing that was pretty much the game. Two inhibitors down, likely to Baron to follow. Is gonna be GG. So hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, if you found that helpful, please or entertaining, please give me a like or a comment. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.